Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 27th of 2023 is titled Rainbow Aurora over Icelandic Waterfall. So what do we see here? Well, we see in the foreground the waterfall and we can tell that that is labeled there and just above it we can see the aurora. Now we have what's kind of a rainbow aurora here. Aurora are caused when charged particles from the sun strike Earth's magnetic field and then are funneled down near the poles. And when they strike the particles in the upper Earth's atmosphere, they cause them to glow. So it is just the excitation of those atoms up in Earth's upper atmosphere. And it's often oxygen and nitrogen atoms, which can give us the colors that we see for the rainbow. Uh, here. Now you'll note that it is not a traditional rainbow with not all the colors. And that's because it is formed by a completely different process. A, a rainbow is caused by the scattering of light off of raindrops. So they are split into their component colors completely. And you'll get the entire rainbow of red through violet. Here we get just certain colors and in fact primarily greens and reds that are formed by oxygen atoms that are excited at different altitudes in Earth's atmosphere. So we can see those where the atmosphere is less dense we get a reddish color and when it is more dense we get a greenish color based on that excitation. Now we'll also notice up above the arc of the aurora that we see here we also see our Milky Way stretching across the sky and kind of, kind of following the same pattern seen here. The Milky Way is of course our galaxy as we see it from within. So it doesn't look like the ordinary galaxies that we look at because we have it from a different perspective. We are inside the Milky Way. And then up at the top of the screen, we do see the Andromeda galaxy, which is the nearest large spiral galaxy to our Milky Way. And in fact, is actually a little bit larger than our Milky, our Milky Way galaxy. But that's what our galaxy might look at from a great distance of several million light years. And then off to the right, we do see something within our own galaxy, which is the Pleiades star cluster, famous cluster of stars uh, that is very easily visible with the naked eye. So Pleiades star cluster we see there uh, is a combination of a number of different stars. And you see primarily six bright stars that are part of this cluster. However, there are many more stars there that make up the entirety of what is called an open cluster of stars, or one that is not gravitationally bound together, and will slowly spread apart over hundreds of millions of years. Going back to the Andromeda galaxy, we should note that this is the most distant object that can be seen with the unaided eye. So if you know where to look for this, you can actually see a fall, small fuzzy patch in the sky that is the Andromeda galaxy about two and a half million light years away. So that was our picture of the day for December 27th of 2023. It was titled Rainbow Aurora over Icelandic Waterfall. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.